Okay, well, welcome back everybody. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've stopped kind of restoring arcade machines since I don't have the room anymore and ran out of machines to restore. So, um, like our friend uh, Mike, the MK Arcade Source, and Big Pete in New York, I'm a fellow Mustang enthusiast. So, um, back in 2007 when the Shelby GT500 um, came out, I wanted to get one, but they were just too damn expensive, asking you know upwards of 60 grand for a Mustang, which is a lot. So I've been waiting and waiting, and now that the prices have come down significantly, I picked one up that had 998 miles on it. So I wanted to kind of show it off a little bit and show you that it's uh, in pristine condition. It's black with uh, silver stripes, in case you haven't seen it. It's completely bone stock, except for an SLP loudmouth exhaust. Um, but I have bought some stuff that I'm going to install on the car here soon, so um, I'll do some piece-by-piece -piece videos on those, but just wanted to kind of give you a walk around on the car. Stock wheels, there's like absolutely no wear on them. They, uh, from the factory, this car has 500 supercharged horsepower. It's a 5.4 liter uh, engine, and um, like I said, it's supercharged, so I think at the crank it puts out 500 at the rear wheels somewhere around 435 somewhere in there depending on the temperature there's the front grill there with the fascia down there All right, there's not a spot of anything or a scratch or a ding or a dent or even fading anywhere there's the hood vents here to vent out the heat <coughs> sit inside here got the nice trim panels there that say SVT. Nice uh, boost fuel pressure and oil pressure gauges up there. This is a, an add-on that the previous owner bought and installed. You can see the uh, steering wheel has a nice Shelby GT500. Logo. Stock shifter for now. I'll probably switch that out at some point. All the seats are embroidered with the nice Cobra, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard inside. You know, the gauges say SVT in there, and there's a boost gauge in there. It says PSI, but that's the same thing as boost. Uh, but as far as the in interior of a stock GT Mustang, um, there's a few upgrades here and there, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I'll start it up so you guys can hear it. I'll put the camera out in the driveway here so you can hear it. It's pretty loud. <clears throat> So as you can see, it's pretty freaking loud. It's one of the loudest cars I've ever owned. I've owned a couple other loud cars, but this one takes the cake. But it's pretty sweet. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Like I said, I've been waiting a long time to get one of these, and they kind of came by it. The time was right. The money was right. But you kind of see the interior a little bit better from here. It's pretty much a stock GT interior. I'll show you the engine. <clears throat> Kind of having a, it's got the uh, Sirius satellite add-on here, XM Sirius satellite, which is nice, but I probably won't hook that up, but regardless. Still getting used to how to open the hood and do stuff here, so you got to be patient. Jesus. It's actually a lot easier than that. I made it more difficult than it seemed. So you can see the engine here. Sorry for all the flipping around on the camera there, but this little lever here is a little difficult to get to from under the hood. i got to figure out a better way to get to that. So here's a supercharger right here. Um, it's a stock Eaton supercharger. Um, I'm going to buy a twin turbo kit. I've actually already purchased it. I'm just waiting for it to come. Uh, that feeds into this. They sit on the bottom of the transmission, but you can see it's completely bone stock. Even the original air filter uh, intake and all that. The strut tower brace right here. Um, you know, just completely factory. There's nothing that's been changed in this car, which is exactly why I bought it. I think it was the guy that bought it just used to take it to car shows and whatnot. But um, so that's it. Just thought I'd show you guys the new purchase here. 
I'm pretty damn happy about it. It's been a long time coming, and that's about it. So thanks for watching.